Hey everybody, quick update on the fragrances that I tested around five to six hours ago. Creed Millesim Imperial is no longer on my skin. I don't smell a trace of it, but to be honest, it's a fresh fragrance, so I wasn't expecting it to perform. But I gotta say, it barely even pushed past four hours. Even on the third hour, it was struggling on my skin. It was something that I had to keep bringing my nose up to. It wasn't really radiating whatsoever. But the thing is, I was spraying it. I sprayed it from a sample bottle. So who knows, maybe with the full distribution of the full-size bottles, the scent would probably last around five hours. That's just my assumption. But based on scent alone, it was nice. It was definitely nice. I had my sister smell it and she gave it an eight or a nine out of 10. She said it was enjoyable. I um, mean, I do agree that it's a rich, inviting, fun, bright type of fragrance, but for the price of something that will run you over $300, and I hit it with about four to five sprays in the same spot, still not the same as a full size, so I understand that. It was a bit disappointing with the longevity, you know, especially when I think of fragrances like Cedrat Bose or even Elysium that like on me, I know it's a bit different that it performs over seven hours, but with other people, they don't really get that much performance. So maybe it's the way that my skin latches with this Creed fragrance, but I get better performance with, with Silver Mountain Water, which is all the way up there. So Silver Mountain Water easily lasts me over seven hours, but Creed Millicium Imperial smells great. Lasting power is so-so. Now onto this one, Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm Perfumery. This thing is still going. I still <laughs> smell it on myself. I don't even have to put my nose all the way to it. Even when I'm walking around, I can still, I could still sort of smell it in the air. It comes and it goes, but within the first couple hours of wearing this fragrance, it was just invading my senses. Like it was all over the place. And I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks this, but I got a similar vibe to Oud Satin Mood by MFK, but definitely much more tamed down. To me, Oud Satin Mood is too much of a beast. I think the projection and everything is great, but it's just too intense for me. But this fragrance is something that I can enjoy wearing, but I would definitely like to smell this on somebody else. So if you're a gourmand lover, if you like kind of smelling like a blueberry lemon cake, I think you're really gonna like this fragrance because this thing, if I smelt it on somebody, I would definitely make my head whip around. It smells really, really good. Both these fragrances smell fantastic, but of course, with this being the sweeter fragrance, it was pretty much a no-brainer that it was gonna perform much better than this one. So I didn't really mean for this to be a comparison video because you can't really compare the apples and the oranges, right? But overall, smell is good. Performance on Poets of Berlin is great. So I am going to test the other fragrances. We got Anisio's, I'm gonna see if I can remember the name, Addictive Vibrations and Absolute Aphrodisiac. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these two fragrances, if you've tried them or if you've tried the brand, what other scents I should try from that brand. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye.